Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. The problem states a project schedule is shown below. What is the float found in activity F? So we're given activity, duration, and uh, what activity it's preceded by, and the days that we're given here. So first thing I'm going to do, if you're not familiar with setting these up, is turn to the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, Chapter 85. That's the reference that I'm going to be using, and the one that you should have if you're taking the PE exam. So Chapter 85 goes over um, schedules. So the first thing that you're going to want to become familiar with is when you're setting up a schedule let's look at a box like this you set this schedule up here this box is called ES ES that stands for early start you also have EF early finish LS is late start and LF is late finish so what we need to do is for every one of these activities we fill this out and we need to figure out how to go forward pass and then come back when we're done and figure out what the float is now float equals the LF minus the EF or the LS minus the ES so you're looking at these two columns or these two sorry I drew over that but you get the idea the other thing to do is um, so, some of the references draw out this uh, a little differently. They'll put the activity in a box like this, and you'll put your activity in the middle, and we'll split this up like this, and we'll split this up something like this. So this would be activity A or something, and you would have um, ES here, ES and then you'd have EF and you'd have LF and you'd have here free float and total float and then you would have LS LS we're just asking for total float is what this problem is basically asking for so um, I'm not going to do it this way all right, so let's get drawn so we can solve this thing. So we've got activity A here, and we'll just draw these four in like this. And then we've got activity B here, activity C, I'm gonna draw down here. And then I'm drawing these this way because I'm looking at what's preceded by. If this is activity A, this is B, okay? and C is down here and then you've got activity D D and you've got activity E E and then you've got F, G, H and I so let's put F here F and G H, oops, that's not very good, and I. Okay, I drew them this way because I'm looking at what it's preceded by. So um, D is going to be after B, and you've got, it's also after C, and then you've got E is after C, and you've got F, G, H, I. And this one is connected here. G is after D and E. D and E. H is just after E. And then these three are all connected to I. Sorry, not very straight, but you get the idea. So I'm setting this up this way. So um, project duration, we know A is five days, but you start at zero. And what you do is you add, so if you're going to the right, you add, and you also take the largest, largest value over if you're splitting. So this activity duration is five days, 
and we're gonna put that in the ES the early start so this is five days this is five days B's activity duration was four days so five plus four is nine and C's is five so that's five plus five is ten so at activity D you need to take the larger of these two values which is going to be ten so 10 is going to go here, and it's also going to go here. So D is 3 days. You just add that to 10. That's 13. E is 4 days, so this is 14. Again, you take the larger of the two values, so this is going to be 14 here. And at H, this is going to be 14 here. And because D is only connected to F, this is just 13 here. So F activity is two days, so this is going to be 15. G is five days, so this is 19. And H is four days, so this is 18. And you take the larger value of any of these three that are connected here, which is 19. Okay, and activity I is three days, so that takes this to 22. And then you bring it down here to the um, late finish column, or box. And then you start subtracting the activities. So I was three days, so this is 19 days. And now, now you go and you take this, this uh, late start box and you move that into these boxes, whatever is the smallest value. So this is 19 in all of these, it's the same. Okay, now you have to look at the activity again. So F is two days, so this is 17 now. So you subtract two from 19. At G, it is 5, so that's going to be 14 again. And at H, you have 4, so that's 15. And on and on you go. So again, you would take the smallest value, which looks like it is 14 in all of these. So you're going to put 14 here, and you're going to keep going to fill out the rest of that. But the problem only asks for what the float was in activity F. And now that we have all these, we can figure that out. So we know what float is, we wrote that down. All we need to do is take one of these two columns and subtract them. So if we take 19 minus 15, that gives me four days of float. You could also do 17 minus 13, which is the same thing. So four days of float gives me answer A. Sorry that took so long, I hope that helped you out. We just kind of went through and explained how we we fill out this chart so we can figure out what the um, the float is in an activity. So I hope that helped you out. Head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks. Thanks, bye.